All right, welcome back, colors. This is part four of episode five of Tips and Tricks. Uh, today we're going to be working on this yellow head over here. It's done by Andy Bennett. And again, as usual, I'll put a link in the uh, description uh, for his DeviantArt account so you can check out more of his work. And um, so, so far, we did a flat style. Uh, we did a airbrush lasso style. We did a textured style. I think today we'll work on a marker some type of style, like how we would look uh, be a rendering of markers. Uh, let's see. Make sure I'm on the right layer here. I'm going to show you how to make a uh, quick and easy marker brush, uh, starting off just from your uh, basic presets. Um, I have this, excuse me, soft uh, airbrush uh, 300 as a size of it. I'm go ahead and make that a little bit smaller. Um, go to our brush. Uh, shapes, uh, tip shapes, and down here we'll see the. Uh, I'm gonna adjust the angle a little bit, and we'll squeeze it down. Uh, we'll do the roundness about. Let's see, 25% uh, is good. Uh, usually the angle. Yeah. Maybe about 40 degrees. You put that in there. Um, hardness is zero. Spacing should be 25. That'll just give us like a, a really nice look. Oops, let me get a new layer so you see what it looks like. So it has like a nice uh, soft soft part that you can build up. Uh, this is going to be 100% uh, opacity, 30% flow. And it builds up really nicely. And that's what gives us like that marker look with a with nice edge. And uh, this one here works really well. Um, I come from a lot of my background when I first started coloring was with markers so I'm really comfortable with it and the the trick to it and I wish I had a video to show you guys like you, if you push the the tip down like in order to blend and then you flick it so it starts off darker and, f and it fades really nicely I'll show you with, uh, with some colors here so with markers as well to keep that marker look what we would always have to do you would have to start off with the lighter colors and work your way darker. Uh, so let's lay down like our flesh tone. And we'll go, we'll just flip that and it'll blend it in. And we'll go to our next darker color. And again, just flip it and blend it in. And that'll give us like a really nice uh, marker look. And I like this. Uh, Kind of, I guess chisel shape brush for a lot of this work because it's just like working with a chisel tip marker you know where you work one way it's a lot thicker you go this way it's a lot thinner and you get like a variation in the, in the line all right so let's see fill that with white and I think for this demonstration we'll just have a, a light source coming down Mm, maybe a little bit this angle. And I think that'll it's nicely indicated by the the shadows on the nose right here. We'll have some nice stuff on the cheekbone as well. Let me throw that away. All right, just have my white on that layer. Just lock that. And again, we'll start off their flesh tones and oh. Um, cool thing about working with the uh, markers and stuff if you have like a big marker collection you go ahead and find out those uh, those colors and just the tree of pantones all have like their own uh, numbers and everything like that uh, and you can go ahead and enter those and you get exactly like your marker colors let's see so let's start off and also, when I like to do this style, I like to move my paper, you know, the, the string around like you would, like your paper. Make sure I got everything set. Okay. Oops. Let me lower my flow to 10%. I think I like that better. Yeah. And 
And again, we're figuring out where our highlights are going to be first, because with markers, there's no going back. It makes it a lot, uh, a lot more challenging. So I'll have a highlight on their cheek. This part here will be dark. Darken up this part some. I'll shape the nose. Highlight on the lip. I'll be in shadow. I want a little bit of highlight on the chin as well. This eye will be in shadow. Drop shadow there. Mm, it's pretty rough right now. And I think that'll that'll work. I might go in with a little bit of a uh, little bit of white and build this back out. You could cheat a little bit. You don't always have to work uh, dark to light. Just as long as you go back in and and blend that back. Otherwise, you're not going to get that uh, marker look that we're after. I'll rotate that. One cool thing again, like this style, it's just painting, no uh, no selections or anything like that. Let's see, we'll get a drop shadow from her hair. Yeah, I think that looks good for basic start. I'll go into our next uh, next color. You're just building up on the uh, just building up the shadows little by little blending those in nicely get this to blend a little bit more working with markers is really interesting too um, a lot of people like to use the, the colorless blender that a lot of the marker sets have and it's just I don't know I never liked them well usually what I'll do is just go in with the uh, the lighter color that I'm trying to blend with and go over that area a couple times and it'll it'll blend out nicely. It's like the colors blender is just a, a tube with a bunch of alcohol in it and a lot of times it really messes up the uh, the pigments and yeah, I'm just not a big fan of it. Let's see, go off the lighter color here a little bit more. Bring that back in, that to blend, and have that darker here. And it's starting to come together better. There we go. Yeah, it's just a little bit too much white for me. For my tastes. All right, and again, just going in next next color. I'm just building up shadows a little bit more. I think on this one, I just might uh, skip it. And... Yeah, that looks good. All right, never mind. Again, just picking a lighter color, just kind of blending that back in some more.
right. It's looking all right. I will do the shadows. I think we get away with adding a uh, little bit of blue. Again, just to add, uh, oops, drop the opacity down on that to, I don't know, 5% five, five or on, on the flow, sorry. Maybe a little bit lower, 2%. Just going in on the shadows a little bit, just adding a little bit more interest to them. Blend that back in some more. All right, and let's see, we're going to experiment a little bit, open up a new layer, we'll set it on multiply. Or right, just to make sure like our colors we're putting on top are going to react with the colors on the, underneath it. Um, let's try like a, uh, I guess it's a magenta type of color. And I'm just going to give her maybe some makeup or something like that. Mm hmm. Let me darken it. I'm digging that right there. I'll we'll stick with that. Uh, maybe pick a darker version of that. Do like right over her eyelids. Maybe do a little bit of a smoky look. We'll do it on the bottom of her eyes as well. There you go. Yeah, I think I'll, I'm really liking that. And then uh, lipstick. I tend to go more uh, towards natural colors. I'm going to put like a bright red lipstick on. Uh, unless that kind of fits the character. I figure most uh, most women nowadays don't, don't wear it like that. Because it's on um, its own layer, so it's way too dark. Let's lighten that up. I'm saturate it some. Yeah, it's looking uh, pretty good. I think we'll just uh, merge that down. We'll get into the hair. Uh, thirty percent. work our way darker with that. Since the highlights above, we'll have the hair darker down here on the sides. And at the bottom of the hairline. Usually what I have to do with uh, before working on the eyes, because I mean, of course, like usually on the paper, it's going to bleed in on the eyeballs and stuff like that. I just go ahead and uh, 
get like a white colored pencil or something. I have a brush that I that I have in uh, Photoshop that I use kind of uh, simulates like a, a pencil. So I can go in and just like you would like the uh, white colored pencil and brighten, you know, just add the whites back in there and we'll fix the highlights here and bring them back in on her nose. You'll do a little bit of here on this side, a little bit on the ear here, and then uh, you want to blend it a little bit more. And I have a uh, blending brush. So if you hit go to your brushes, that's oh, a mixer brush tool, and here at the bottom. I'm not sure what we want to do. I got a little bit of a blur. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I think we'll just leave it like that. Um, yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's about it. If you have any uh, questions or comments, just let me know. Um, check out my DeviantArt page, lemage.deviantart.com. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time. Bye.